This is Lesson 3 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. I'll write my name. And uh, first we have, uh, you might remember Lesson 2's homework. We made picture graphs, pictographs. Um, now we're going to make bar graphs. Almost the same thing, very similar. Uh, first we're going to complete the bar graph below using the data provided in the table. This is the table. Then answer the questions about the data. And the data is just the names of the categories and the numbers that we have, and what we're counting, and the, the title. All this stuff is data. It all, it's all included in the graph, and it all has places to go. So title, we can take it right from the title of the table. I'm just going to write animal coverings. And then we have four categories of animal coverings at Jake's Pet Shop. So some animals have fur, nine have feathers, eight have shells, and 11 have scales and, at a pet shop. <coughs> uh, so four categories. We have one, two, three, four set up for us here. And down at the bottom, there's a lot of blank spaces to fill in here. Those are probably going to be animals that we're going to count. Uh, we only have these four categories, so we can't put them down here because then we'd only have, it just wouldn't make sense. So we've got uh, fur, feathers, shells, and scales, and you can put these in any order, but I'm just going to take them the way they are. Fur, feathers, shells, scales, and across the bottom of our graph, we're counting how many animals have each kind of covering. So this would be the zero line right here. You can see the lines are that we have to put our numbers on there right here under each one. So if we I filled in one here, then that would be one animal. But that we could make it two. We could count by twos, we could count by fives, we could count by tens. Our biggest number that we have to graph is 12. So let's just see if we can count by ones. It looks like there's going to be plenty of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because each box that we color in is going to be an animal. And we're going to easily have enough for all 12. So we can count one box for one animal instead of one box being two animals. So we can just, call, we can just count by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is our scale. Uh, and I'm going to call this, uh, It doesn't. there's not a spot down here for it, but I just want to always keep track of what it is I'm counting. I just want to write it down here that we're counting animals. I just want to write that there. <clears throat> and now we have to uh, graph how many animals are in each category. So fur is 12. So that's the, here's the 12 line right here. If we go all the way over there, that should be 12. One box is each animal, right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 animals. So we can just color this whole thing in all the way to here, and that'll be 12 animals with fur. How many have feathers? Nine. So I'm just going to go over here. There's the nine, and just go right up here. That's as far as the feathers bar will go. So that will be nine animals with feathers. Shells is eight. So that's going to be one fewer than the nine for feathers. So it's going to be the bar is going to be one box shorter. So that's one way to look at it. And that's right here where the eight is. Yeah. And the scales, there's 11 of those, so that's right under the 11, right, right there. So we're going to go all the way over to that 11 line. And there will be 11 animals with scales. And now we have some word problems to answer from the graph. How many more animals have fur than shells? So it's how many more? Fur has more 
in shells, right? But we want to know how many more, how many more. So this, the answer is going to be a number, right? Because it's asking how many. So fur, shells, let's just see. The fur would go down here. So this would be one, two, three, four. It looks like it's four more than shells because this would be, shells would go up here and it'd be one, two, three, four, four more. You know, and you could just look at um, the data in the table too and think uh, for 12 minus 8, for shell 12 minus 8 would be 4. And you could write that down too. Or you could just look at the graph and count it like I did. Which pair of categories has more? Fur and feathers or shells and scales? Circle one and then say how much more. So which pair of categories? So these are our categories, fur, feathers, shells, and scales. And now we're look, talking about pairs of categories. Pairs are groups of two. So we have fur and feathers, that's one of our pairs. And shells and scales, that's our other pair. So which one has more? We're going to figure it out and circle. Oh, I just circled both of them. <laughs> we just circle the one that has more and then say how much more it has. So we gotta add this up to figure it out. Fur and feathers. Fur is 12, well I'm just gonna write it here. And feathers, nine, and so I would add the 12 plus the nine, and that's gonna be 21. Shells and scales, shells is eight, scales is 11, and eight plus 11 is 19. So fur and feathers, 21 has more, I'm gonna circle that one. And how much more? 21 is 2 more than 19. You can do the subtraction to figure it out. Uh, it's 2 more. And you, if you wanted to write it down, you just write down the subtraction equation. Uh, 21 minus 19 equals 2 if you really want to do that. And then finally, uh, write your and answer your own comparison question based on the data. So that I'm going to leave that to you. Make up your own question. In your, and com, a comparison question means you're going to be asking which has more, how many more, how many fewer, which is less. Uh, you can make up any kind of question. You can combine categories like they did in this question here where they took pairs of categories and put them together. Uh, there's lots of different questions you could ask and then you have, also have to answer your own question. So uh, I'll leave that to you because you can make that up on your own. And we'll go on to the next page. Complete the bar graph using data provided in the table. So here we have our table, and this is where we're gonna put our data. We're gonna graph it in this, we're gonna make a bar graph here, and now we're gonna go up and down in columns instead of bars going across in rows. So you make bar graphs that go across in rows, this one's going in columns. Uh, and the scale is already made for us, so we don't have to fill that out this time. And it looks like it's going up by ones all the way to 14. And this time our data is giving in, given in tally marks, it's not in numbers. Uh, if you'd like to, if it's easier for you to read numbers and tally marks, feel free to just write down the numbers. That's eight, that's nine, right? That's five, ten, and that, that's a four group, so 14. And you can just write the numbers right there if you want, if it's easier for you to read them. Uh, our title, we're going to take from the title of the table, City, Shelter, Animal Diets. I'm just going to write Animal Diets. You could write the whole thing. And we have three categories. Meat only. We don't have a lot of room to write down here, so I'm just going to write M for meat, P for plants only. Meat and plants, I'm going to write MP. And then we just have to graph. Meat is nine, so that's going to go all the way up to the ninth line. If we counted the boxes, one, two, three, each box is going to be an animal, right? So, oh, sorry about that. Bump the camera. I'm going to label this little axis here. Animals, just so we keep track of what it is we're counting. We're counting animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine animals. All the way up to there is nine. Plants only. Uh, oh, wait a minute. 
meat was only supposed to be eight. Uh, I can erase one of them. All right. Plants is nine. Plants is nine. So plants will go up to nine. There. And shade all these in. All right. And then meat and plants both. That's 14, and that goes 14, that's all the way to the top from here. So that, that's what your graph is, should look like, something like that. And now we have some questions to answer. How many total animals are in the city shelter? Well, we can just look at our table up here. We can either do some addition and, and figure that out, write an equation and add up the numbers, or we can just count the tallies. Right, these are fives, uh, five, 10, 15, 20. So there's 20 there. We've got two fours, that's an eight. So that's eight. And then we have three more. That's eight and three, that's 11. So 20 plus 11, that's gonna be 31. So there's 31 total. You know, or you could just look at this and say that that's eight, call it eight plus nine plus 14. And you could add those numbers and that's still gonna to come to the same total. It's still gonna to come to 31. I think it's just easier to count and do it that way. How many more meat and plant eating animals are there than meat only? So that's meat and plant animals. How many more? There's more of those than any other kind of animal on the graph. But how many more are there than meat only? So we know there's more, right? Because the bar goes higher. But how many more? And we can just look at this. The meat only goes, stops right here. And, and now we can just count the more. One, two, three, four, five, six more. And you could do the subtraction if you wanted. 14 for the meat and plant minus uh, the meat only was eight. And that does equal six, it still comes out to be six. Uh, if three animals were removed from each category, how many animals would there be? So you could just, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could look at uh, <clears throat> each category one at a time and figure out what three less is. So if uh, we did that, we're going to figure out how many animals would there be on the whole graph if we didn't count, if, we, if, if each one had three less. So... If meat had three less from eight, it would have only five, right? We have five plus the plant eaters. If there were three less, there would only be six. And if meat and plant eaters had three less, one, two, three, then that would be 11. We can add those and look, there's 11 and 11. That's gonna be 22. You could do it that way. Uh, our last question. Write your own comparison question based on the data and answer. That's just like on the first page. And I'll leave that to you.